버텨주실 수 있죠? 절제된 힘을 대방한다! 후회하실 겁니다. 어디서 다음... 시전 완료 후회하실 겁니다 이제야 싸우는 것 같네요 누가 쓰러질지 결판을 내줘 Hello, hello, it's the Jason Z here, and I know you must all be in absolute awe of me. Not every day you see an Asimanic 13 one-shot, after all. So now you must be wondering... Stats? What are the stats? And yes, I'm getting to that, but I wanted to first do an in-depth analysis of why I crafted this team and the stats needed to work, so that you too can easily one-shot A13. So there's two ways of building a one-shot team for Asimanic 13, the double nuker method and the double cleaver method. I've gone with the double nuker method. Let's go over the units in turn order. So first, Bologna. If you want to go the double nuker method, Bologna is essential. Fortunately, you only need to prioritize two stats on her, speed and effectiveness. She needs to have a minimum of 65 effectiveness in order to only get resisted 15% of the time. For the most consistent runs, you need to plus four her skill three. You also need to choose the exclusive equipment that boosts her defense break proc rate to 100%. I've given her a plus 30 Midnight's Bloom, so that I can gimp on the crit rate of the other heroes. The biggest gatekeeper will be speed. I've built mine with 262 speed, so that she uses her S2 against the boss, laps Soul and Watcher Shuri, then uses an S1 giving her full focus, which procs her S3 defense breaking the boss. Bologna has high base speed, so your speed rolls don't need to be too insane. However, the faster you make your nukers, the faster she needs to be. Ideally, you would give her a health percent main stat piece, so that she doesn't die in case all three enemies in wave 1 targets her. So, there's a couple conditions Bologna has to fulfill in order for this method to work. First, in wave 1, she has to defense break this guy and at least one of the others. If either of these events do not occur, the run will fail. Second, she needs to lap Soul and Watcher Shuri after using her S2, so you need to speed tune that. Then, she needs to land the defense break against the boss. But if you can fulfill these stats, you only have to worry about 15%. So as I mentioned earlier, there's two ways of one-shotting A13. However, regardless of the method you choose, both of them require this unit right here, Vivian. As of the recording of this guide, she is the only unit you cannot replace if you intend on one-shotting A13. So if you don't have her, she requires a bit of investment needing to be plus 7 with a fully enhanced Thunder God's Cry, and I'm running her with 3.6k attack, 236 speed, and 245 crit damage. Crit chances are relevant as long as it's greater than 84% since Bologna is holding Midnight's Bloom. I've given her the exclusive equipment that boosts her CR after using the S3 so that she cuts Soul and Watcher Shuri. I've given her Time Matter to allow her to S2 both the first and second waves of mobs. Her attack and immunity on the S3 is essential to runs because if you don't have immunity and your heroes get debuffed, the boss will one-shot you. And without attack buff, your units are going to tickle the Azimanic. There's not a lot of RNG with Vivian, as long as she's alive and Bologna does her job, Vivian will do hers. Next up is Sol. For the double nuker method, he is the most replaceable unit on the team. However, I chose to use him because I already had one built for a video I'll show you later. I have him at triple S memory imprint, giving him an extra 18% attack and daydream joker, which is a must for a thick boss like Azimanic. I'm running mine on a destruction set, however you can use an attack or a rage set as long as you can get the stats. It has 4.1k attack and 329 crit damage. Once again with Bologna, crit rate only needs to be 84%. He needs to be plus 10 with a fully enhanced passive and S3. If you don't have Soul, I'm pretty sure you could use Specimen Says, Little Queen Charlotte, or Euphine. Soul has high base speed, so you need to be extra careful with giving gear. Sometimes with Bologna isn't able to lap them, resulting in a failed run. However, if you can get your Bologna faster or slow down your soul, 
there's no real RNG aspects with him. Finally is Watcher Shuri, and this is going to make you mad. I've got him on a Rage set with 3.5k attack and 330 crit damage. What but Zajakins to get Rage set you need to farm a Zimanek. So you need to farm a Zimanek to kill a Zimanek. And that is 100% true. For his Rage pieces, make sure all of his left side pieces are Rage set because they're easier to farm than right side pieces. I also have him at triple S with self imprinted crit rate because even though he only needs 66% crit rate, Without imprint, I'm just shy of the minimum. Likewise to Soul, I have him on a plus 30 Daydream Joker. Now with Watcher Shuri, there are a couple RNG aspects. You don't have to worry about him going before Bologna or Soul with 117 speed. However, if Bologna uses her S1, procs a dual attack with Watcher Shuri, resulting in both a target debuff and defense break debuff, and then Soul uses his S3 and lands unbuffable, the Asimanic will cleanse itself, not giving Watcher the rage set bonus, resulting in a failed run. If you follow all of these methods, you too can easily one-shot A13. If you have any questions why I chose these units, please rewatch the video. To do the double cleaver method, I recommend you this guide by user slash Prisma Project and their site, ufiend.co. I'll link both in the description. I'll show the stats one last time, and that's all for today. Sayonara.